the greatest test of head coaching is what can you do when you have no talent. So that's why I've started my head coaching career at New Mexico and I'm going to build up the Lobos and start something great, build a culture, build a team, and hopefully take them all the way to the top of the rankings and win conference championships and maybe even national championships. In our first matchup against UTSA, we throw our first pass of the season and it gets picked off on a fourth down where we needed to pick it up. And then UTSA gets a quick score. But then we realize senior quarterback Miles Kendrick might just have to be able to roll out and make his own plays as he finds Wysong in the end zone for our first touchdown of the year, tying it up. Miles Kendrick shows sparks throughout this whole game that this quarterback can lead us to where we want to go and help us out in our future as he rolls out and makes a beautiful pass. And then he keeps on the read option to give us our first ever lead as a head coach. In the third, we hit our running back for about 15 yards as he takes it down to the 10-yard line, which sets up a beautiful slant to the back of the end zone where we take an eight-point lead, but UTSA ties it up. And then we get sacked on third and 20, which gives UTSA the ball back with less than two minutes left in the game. And they take it, drive down, and score a touchdown with only 18 seconds left. And then with 10 seconds left, we get sacked, rolling out, trying to make a play. And the time runs out as we drop game one. But game two starts off with a bomb to Jordan Porter. He is going to be a big key piece as a wide receiver this year as Kendrick keeps it for another rushing touchdown. 7 nothing, middle of the first quarter, and he's trying to roll out, trying to do too much, and he throws a terrible ball back to the other side of the field, which gets picked off and taken all the way to the house. So instead of maybe getting a 14-point lead, it is now 7 to seven and UTEP gets the ball back and we stop him luckily hold him to a field goal so it'll only be 10 to seven as we get the ball back and Kendrick makes another bad read and throws a pick on a corner out to Jordan Porter so we decided to go with the backup for the rest of the game and he makes this miraculous throw to try to keep us in the game which helps us go down and score a touchdown but it just wasn't enough as we lose 27 to 14 and drop our first two games. Going into the third game, on the opening kickoff, we fumble the ball and they pick it up, but after review, it was overturned. We need a new identity. We've been throwing the ball way too much, so we've decided we're gonna run the ball so much that they are so tired and they can't do anything. But we had to throw it on fourth down and couldn't get it. Well, our defense gets us to stop and we get the ball back. And Miles Kendrick, senior quarterback, picks up 20 on a rush. And then he drops back, rolls out, and makes a sweet throw to the back corner of the end zone to Austin Erickson for the touchdown. And then finds an open seam to Jordan Porter later in the game, which sets up another beautiful wide open receiver. The run is opening up the pass, and we were trying to get the pass to open up the run, which wasn't good as we hit Jordan Porter in the seam right before the half, which sets up this read option that we get another rushing touchdown with in the second half as we go up 35 to nothing, and we secure our first ever dub, and it was against a ranked pit team which is big for the conference and for our program. Heading into week four against UNLV, Jordan Porter is finding ways to get open, like always. And we hit our wide receiver, Trey Hall, for the touchdown. UNLV ties it back up, but we have figured out the offense coming in to this fourth game. Read options, short little passes, and an occasional bomb will help us out. And on this third down, we get the stop to hold them to a field goal, which they ended up missing. So we get the ball back, and Miles Kendrick is out here rolling out, making plays, 
making the correct reads on read options, and that is what can keep us in games and get us to a conference championship if we can keep doing that all season. He does fumble it, though, on this play with 2 minutes and 50 seconds left. If we would have just picked up that first down, this thing would have been over. UNLV is within a score with a minute and 50, but we pick up this first down on a fourth down read option, and that allows us to knee it out, and we secure the dub. So now we're 2-2 two and two heading into the Coastal Carolina game, and nothing changes. We are still going with read options, dink and dunks, and an occasional long ball as Miles Kendrick gets us on the board in the first with a read option run. Another read option in the second quarter gets him a big time run, making sure he slides to not get hurt. We cannot have him hurt in his senior year because we have not recruited a class yet, so we have nobody good that can come in. Speaking of recruiting, we've been trying to get five stars, trying to get four stars, but we are New Mexico, so I don't know how great it's going to be for recruiting in our first year, but if we can have a good first year, we can pick up some recruits maybe next year, and if we can coach good and have good records, we can go on to bigger and better schools as Miles Kendrick carries us to another dub against Coastal Carolina, and we're now 3-2, and two, a winning record at New Mexico. Never heard of it, but a rough start as we drop a wide-open pass to start off the Wyoming game. But our running back, Nathaniel Jones, is doing it all for us, catching passes, running touchdowns, Wyoming has nothing to show on offense as we run this triple option perfectly to perfection as we get another rushing touchdown to put us up 12 to 3 but then Wyoming makes a play as their running back fights his way into the end zone to put them within two late in the half we find an open Jordan Porter on a corner route they review it it confirmed he gets his foot in which means we have a chance to score a touchdown, and that's exactly what we do as we hit Erickson on the corner route. Up 19-10 to 10 in the third, Wyoming is still fighting. We had a fourth down, and I decided to run a fake punt because if we give them the ball back, then they would have scored a touchdown. But we get that, and we run out the clock for another dub. Four dubs in a row for the New Mexico Lobos. As we started 0-2, now we're 4-2. Heading into Utah State game in the first quarter, they decide to go for it on a fourth down, and we stop them. That is massive. Build our momentum as Miles Kendricks keeps it on another read option, and he takes it for a huge 26-yard rush as play actions and read options continue to be what we are thriving on. And we hit Nathaniel Jones out of the backfield for our first touchdown of the game. But Utah State responds very quick, 7-7. Seven to seven. Later in the game, early in the fourth quarter, Miles Kendrick takes another read option into the end zone to give us the lead. And we get the two-point to give us a seven-point lead. We get the back ball back from a defensive stop. And that right there was all that we needed and run this QB power to get one more touchdown because Miles Kendrick is trying to go for Heisman. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to get to it. We are leading the division currently heading into the San Diego State game. It's the number one team versus the number two team in the conference. If we win this, we hold our own destiny heading into the rest of the season. Miles Kendrick, of course, he starts us off with a read option. Perfect read. And then he finds Erickson wide open in the middle of the field. It is looking good to start off this game. They can't stop the run. They can't stop the pass. We're up 14 to nothing in the first quarter to start us off. And then San Diego State starts to build their comeback. This play was heartbreaking. We needed to answer San Diego State, but we fumble and they take advantage, taking the seven point lead. And in the fourth quarter, they extend it to 14-point lead. We lose by 7 to San Diego State at their place. We're now 4-3, and three, and we're back at home. These two games are the biggest games of the season. 
we have a bunch of recruits showing up to each and every one of these games from now on out. So against the Air Force, we have to put on a show. And our boy Miles Kendricks is making plays, running around the field, doing whatever he can to show the NFL that maybe he deserves a spot. And we pick up a 42-12 to victory. And heading into Colorado State, we had 11 recruits show up to this game. So we must show out, get 250 passing yards and 100 rushing yards. So that was the goal. Get that and get the win. We throw that ball right by the defender's hands. And Jordan Porter gets it for the touchdown. 7-7, seven to seven, we get a stop. And now we're slicing and dicing the defense. Because we need those passing yards to show these recruits. That wide receivers can come here too and succeed as we hit our tight end, Will Dennis, who has a big second half of the year. Find a wide open wide receiver up 18. And this touchdown right here by Miles Kendrick is going to seal the deal. And we're going to get the dub over Colorado State 35 to 10, which helped us rack up a bunch of recruits, a wide receiver, some guards, some tackles, a quarterback, 6'5, 220 pound quarterback and we got some wide receivers to throw to him heading into the fresno state game we get down big early but we try to battle back as we're finding wide open dennis down the seam and we are fighting back down only seven at this point we were once down 21 14 and on this magical play we tie it up tipped by two defenders and nathaniel jones catches it and then we make this tackle at the three-yard line, which helps us hold them to a field goal. Down a field goal with only a minute and 51 seconds left, Jordan Porter beats the defense deep, and we take the lead 28-24. You thought it was over? No, Fresno State goes back down and gets a touchdown to take the lead. 35 seconds left, and their defense is sleeping as they let Jordan Porter do the same exact thing that he just did on the prior possession and get over their head, and that will get us the dub. Heading into Boise State game, we need this game. They are very good in the conference, and we want to go to this conference championship because if we can do that in our first year, it would be incredible to take this team from the worst team in all of college football to a Mountain West championship but playing defense like that will not help us out. Down 17-7 to if we hold him to a field goal, which is big time because Will Dennis gets a touchdown. They get the ball all the way down inside our 10, and it looks like it's all but over, but they fumble on the one-yard line, and we pick it up in the end zone. And when I seen Miles Kendrick throw this ball and we come down with it, I knew there's a chance, and with 30 seconds left, we find Trey Hall across the middle, which only gives Boise one more chance, and they cannot do it as we pull off the miracle win, and we're heading to the conference championship against the same San Diego State team that beat us in this stadium not too long ago. And now Jordan Porter has progressed to become our best target, and we are finding him on deep balls every single week, it feels like. But San Diego State is picking apart our defense. So heading into the fourth, it looks like this game is over. And we fumble the ball with 50 seconds left, which gives San Diego State the chance to tie it up. And they do. San Diego State scores a touchdown on their first drive in OT. And we score a 1-2. And I decide it's time to go for two. Because why not? What do we have to lose? We're New Mexico. We keep it on the read option. And we win the Mountain West Conference Championship for the first time in a long time. The boys are going crazy on the San Diego State field. We are the Mountain West Conference Champions, which means we're going to a bowl game. And it's against Utah. This was way too much for us, as you'll see in this game. We do start off quick, but then... Utah puts up 21 unanswered to go up 21 to 7. And Miles Kendrick, he's fighting. Only down 7. But 
Utah's making plays like this, breaking tackles, doing whatever they can to get this dub. And it, as it gets late in the game, they are throwing perfect passes like this one to first round tight ends. And we have two and one star recruits trying to make it happen as Miles Kendrick makes a beautiful rollout throw. But it's not going to be enough as we're down 25 in the fourth quarter and we throw a pick which is going to get taken back for like 60 yards and it is all but over as we drop our first bowl game ever as a head coach, but that's nothing to be disappointed about because we had a Mountain West championship after being the worst team in all of college football. 